In this video, I'll show you how you can get back text animation in Adobe Captivate 2019. One of the viewers of my YouTube channel commented on one of my latest videos with regards to the latest update for Adobe Captivate 2019. Adobe has released 11.8.1 0.219 uh, for Windows users. And some of the things that have disappeared are things like text animation from the text icon in the toolbar. And this user, of course, finds that particular feature useful. The reality is, is that Adobe hasn't actually eliminated that feature. They've just eliminated access to it because, of course, the vast majority of those text animations employed shockwave flash technology and of course uh, that is now deprecated from all adobe products so the goal is to try to not get people using that particular uh, technology here but i have a workaround and i'm going to share with you today here's my workaround record a software simulation so if i double click on my software simulation from my welcome screen here and we're just going to record something that requires me to do a little bit of typing now what this particular user is looking for is the uh, typing animation that you see typically in a software simulation demo so i'm going to go ahead and record my screen here and i'll just open up a browser window it literally doesn't matter what you use here and i'm just going to type in some text in a Google search engine. Once that's done, of course, I can close this browser window and return to Captivate. And it's gonna create the slides from that simulation. So let's find the slide where I was using some typing text. Uh, just before here, I guess it would be. You'll recognize it from here. And there is the typing text. Now, in the properties inspector, typing text is really just sort of an automated feature um, of Adobe Captivate, specifically with the software simulation demo. But if I right click on this object and replace with text animation, I now have a sample of typing text that I can use. There it is. And of course, with this uh, now in place here, I can go to animation properties and you know change the text to be something meaningful. And of course, I can save this slide or this project. And in the future, if I need to copy a text animation object from this project and paste it into a new project, I certainly can do that. So let's try that in this case here. I'm gonna right click on the text animation. We're gonna copy that. And I'll simply create a new blank project, whatever it is that you know you're you're typically doing. And uh, in this case here, I'll just create a blank slide, and we can paste that in. So now I have some text animation that I can edit and use and change the animation properties for whenever I wish. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.